over and I'm sorry that I look really like orangey and like a weird colour um, but the light's really bad and it's a really like gloomy day but I thought I'd do an elf collection because someone asked for a makeup collection and I already have one on this channel um, and I think I've like gone down in makeup like not gone up so I'm just going to show you the ones I, the things I have from elf um, I have a few but I don't have too many so the first thing is brushes and these are my brushes first one is the um, elf professional total no the elf, yeah the elf professional total face brush which is kind of like a powder brush um, but I really don't like it it's not very soft it's actually quite sharp the next one is the elf fan brush which is really good for wiping away like excess um, makeup and then the next one is the elf powder brush which is the flat top one this is really good for powder kind of like buffing in um, or foundation or probably a contour maybe then the elf stippling brush these are from the studio line by the way um, it's quite good it's just a little bit too soft so it's quite hard to stipple because it's so soft um, and then the elf small angled brush just like this it's really thin if you can see it's like really thin but this is really good for your brows and yeah I really like it so those are the brushes this one is 150 and these are all 350 so then I'll go on to the normal range things like the elf standard range and these are all um, £1.50 so I have the elf all over colour stick and this is in lilac petal just looks like this and these are meant to be for um, like your cheeks and things but I really hate them I think they're just awful <laughs> and the next thing is a elf wet gloss and brown mascara this is the clear one which looks like this and um, this is quite good but I don't really use it and I haven't used the mascara side at all um, and then there's the elf Lusher liquid lipsticks and I have one in bark and one in baby lips they look like this and they've kind of got like the sponge applicator these are actually really nice and for £1.50 they're really good value then I have the elf clarifying pressed powder and this is in like beige just show you just a little powder like this um, the colour ranges aren't very good really they're not really sort of tailor made um, but it's actually really tiny compared to like a normal kind of pressed powder I mean it's pretty small and it comes with a little sponge like this and then I have the elf tinted moisturiser in light beige and it's a little tube like this I really like this and it smells like um, Terry's chocolate orange like not a little bit like really quite strong and then I have a um, cord in Nove Neutrals I think it's called this is from the studio line and it's just got oh, it's just got some shadows um, I really don't like them though they kind of swatch a little bit pigmented but not very and they just don't come out of my eyes at all so that's everything that I have um, from the normal range now I'll go into the studio so oh actually I think this might be the normal range this is a um, beauty encyclopedia I used to use this like every day I would just take this with me <laughs> and it's got some highlighters and some like blush colours and concealers and then a blusher and a bronzer this is good for travelling because it's so kind of small um, and I think these are the colours that are in the studio um, set for the brusher, blusher and bronzer duo so yeah this is quite good I think that's like £3.50 or something like that and then I have um, two of the e.l.f. Um, mineral infused mascaras which have the one like this which is my favourite mascara of all time I just absolutely love them, I think they're really good then I have an e.l.f. blush in the colour tickled pink and it looks like this um, I do like these but I don't really tend to wear them a lot Swatch, you can see. Sorry, swatches aren't coming up very well. I don't know if it's the light or. I'll try and do a swatch on my hand. There you go. Sorry, I think I've got like ink on my hand or something. So this is in tickle pink, and then another blush in the colour 
peachy keen just like this um, I really do like the packaging for these actually it's really kind of nice and simple and a lot like the um, NARS and you get a mirror which is also handy so there is Peachy Keen it's like a real corally colour and then Candid Coral which is kind of like a mixture of a pink and a coral it's this one at the bottom but um, I really don't know why the lighting's so bad in here but sorry then what else then I've got the contouring blush and bronzing powder and I don't think this comes in any other colours and it's got a really big mirror here which is really useful and sometimes I like to take this just to use the mirror and it has the blush and bronzer which I think are the same two that are in this beauty encyclopedia um, yeah so um, I'll just do a swatch and then I've got the Elf Warm Bronzer from the Studio line and I really like using this gold colour and then mixing it in with um, the other ones and it just makes a really nice effect um, then this is the Elf Eyebrow Lifter and Filler I'm not sure what colour this is it oh this is in dark and this side it's like a creamy highlight which I'll show you but um, kind of all run out it's kind of like a tiny swatch over there and then this is a eyeliner which is really messy not an eyeliner sorry a brown liner but this does actually work quite well and I really love the highlighter it's a really nice one um, and then I have the e.l.f. single eyeshadow in the colour Sand Dollar and it looks like this this is my favourite one, I've talked about this in quite a lot of videos um, I just really love it it makes the perfect highlight colour and for 350 it's really great, it's so much cheaper than MAC and it's lasted me so long it's a real white kind of shimmery colour though and then I've got the Oh, the e.l.f. creamy eyeliner and this is in black and it comes with a mini brush like this that's what it looks like really pigmented, I'll just show you there we go so the this long line here I really do like this actually um, and it's really handy little brush because it's so small that you can really apply it well um, and then for lipsticks from the mineral range which do look a lot like the studio range um, the same kind of just black packaging and the first one is in the colour Cheerful Cherry I'm not sure if that focused but it um, looks like this it's a nice red colour there you go and then the next one is Runway Pink which a lot of people um, love and I love this colour as well, it's so nice comes a lot more nude on the lips it's definitely not as pink um, and then the next colour is Natural Nymph but this is a little bit too nude I find um, I've kind of gone off nudes quite a bit and this is just too nude um, if you can see it down here and then the last one is nicely nude looks like this, it's kind of a lot like the other one um, just watch here. yeah this is a nice colour, it's just makes my lips look a little bit too pigmented but these two are quite sort of similar um, I'm not sure what it looks like on I can't even tell really um, so yeah I think that's everything that I own from e.l.f um, 
Yeah, I think so. So anyway, um, I hope you like this video, and if you have any more requests, then just comment below. And also, I have a blog sale going, not a blog sale, a just YouTube sale going on at the moment, which is the video before this, which has some like MYX and Mac and Barry M and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, make sure you go check it out. And thanks for watching. So that's basically all the other stuff I have, which fits in here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye!